How would you describe the growth of your team? This is our third year together, and yeah. it's we've grown huge. Um, I know at the for our first year together, we lost the provincial final, which we that wasn't expected. We weren't expecting to go that far just for our first year, and then the second year doing the same thing again. But this year, we've grown a lot. It takes a little bit of time to kind of meld and get used to each other's communication, but I'd say just watching from where we started in our first bonds build to how we're playing here, we've developed and we've gotten to know each other better, so you can see it in our communication style. We've definitely built on our first year together. We gel really nicely together, so that's very nice, and we didn't have issues with that in our first year playing together. I can definitely pinpoint areas where we've improved in terms of techniques or strategy and stuff like that. When you girls are traveling so much from city to city, from tournament to tournament, you're obviously spending a lot of time with each other. Are there any superstitions you guys have? Any pregame rituals? I am very superstitious. And, well, actually, we all are. <laughs> so. You're not going to just take the blame for that? Yeah. The whole so we all have to do the same routine, same everything. So it's. Yeah. <laughs> Can we list those or are they top secret? They're top secret. Are they really? Yeah. You can't even tell me? <laughs> nope. Uh, one thing, give, give us a hint. We have to do the same routine in the morning, <laughs> take the same route. Okay, you're not cracking. No problem. Um, well, we definitely all sit in the same spot in the car. But yeah, no, nothing really superstitious. Uh, we all get along really good, best friends, so. Gay Tanner, my third, has to wear the hair, same hairstyle, has to get ready the same way. If she takes out the brooms, she has to take out the brooms every single time. Like, very, very strict routine. <laughs> and you poke fun of her for that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Eat, sleep, curl. I mean, you, you know, when you're not playing, you're in your room either napping or just watching TV or just trying to decompress. Because it's, you know, you play a lot of high pressure games and it's not as uh, glamorous usually as it sounds. Are you superstitious at all with your team? Do you have certain rituals that you guys do? <laughs> Ours is kind of silly. I have to wear jet socks all the time. It okay. started in our very first bond spill. I was wearing jet socks and a moose hoodie when we won our first game together. So I said I'm not wearing the hoodie every game, but the socks can stay. So they got tossed out today, though. <laughs> One of the great things about curling is the respect level to the sport. You shake hands before the game, you shake hands after the game. There's a great honesty to curling. Is that something you're quite proud of? Absolutely very important and uh, I mean I even teach my, my school kids about that and have what the importance of having the handshake before and, and being totally honest on the ice because there's lots of times you might touch a rock accidentally and you would declare that to the other team and whatnot and let them make the decision and things like that so I think that's a, a really important part of our game and I love it. It's really nice to have that camaraderie between the teams and to know that you're all going to say kind of nice shot to each other and it's just nice. We basically started curling because it was a family sport, a thing to do with your family. But yeah, that's definitely something that curling is known for is, you know, people getting along, good sportsmanship and, uh, you know, honest play. Well, you know, we've met many friends uh, over the years. I have many friends that we were actually just on Facebook the other day, how we competed in our first juniors 30 years ago. And there was a number of us that were, are still good friends. And uh, it's amazing what this sport brings for friendship, for sure. I love that part of the sport. It just shows how Everyone's connected and everyone's friends and it just kind of it's really respectful and I really like that part of it. The curling community is quite small so you get to know everyone really well. Um, everyone uh, is super nice, welcoming. I mean you play against each other and it looks really intense on the ice but off the ice it's great and so yeah I love to say that I'm a curler and I'm a part of this community. Just don't get me wrong there's always it's still competitive and sometimes there's there's Negative vibes. Heated. It can yeah. get heated between teams, but you know what? At the end of the day, um, you meet a lot of great people, and, and off the ice, you know, everyone respects each other, and that's good.